Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Violet. So today we will be taking on the next team star boss, the fire type one. And as you can see, I changed up my hair. I figured we don't have enough pink in this outfit since we're not allowed to change the uniform. So I ended up dyeing it smoky pink and then I got some pink sparkly tights. We just, we just needed some more pink. <laughs> Normally I'd keep her blonde, but since there's so limited outfit options, yeah. All right, so let's head on over. It's Clive. <laughs> ah, it's you, Pinkmon. Dr. Clavel? Clive? Should we go along with this delusion? Nah, we're calling him Dr. Clavel. <laughs> Director Clavel. Like I said before, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Sure. Anyways, Pinkmon, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Why'd you join? What's your endgame? <laughs> I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star, and what's causing its members' odd behavior? Odd behavior? Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know? Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumors. The matter I am directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Me, who hasn't attended a single class at the academy since the game started. <laughs> ah. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that they should, should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, it couldn't have come at a more crucial time. Speaking of, is she stalking us? It's Cassiopeia, can you hear me? Urk! I think she hacked my phone. <laughs> She's just listening in. Whisper, whisper, another time then. Be careful. We're sneaking around on Cassiopeia. I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? <laughs> uh, nobody. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Okay, let's go. I, I'm assuming it's gonna be the same as last time. Unless they have a different type of like challenge we have to do on the inside. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. Well, all right, time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I don't really have any Pokemon that are great against fire type. So... I mean, we have Dig on pa Pawmot, but I feel like I've used him in the past three uh, big fights. Like, he's been the star of the show, and I don't want to make him the star of the show four times in a row. I want to give my other Pokemon a chance, so I'm going to mainly use Mastiff, I think. Um, and then also my bread puppy, Doxbun. It has this really cool ability. I'll show you it later, but I feel like... It'll actually come in handy in there. Okay, he only had one Pokemon. That was easy. <laughs> I defended myself all right, but it wasn't enough. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid that declared war on Team Star? That's right. Call me Pinkmon. Call me by my name. I put some respect on it, bro. <laughs> Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. 
Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista. Ugh, I hate it. Every time they say that, I hate it. <laughs> hey, Pinkmon. Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through, but it seems you're all set. What? Oh, a Charcadet. Is that you, Charlos? <laughs> Charlos! What a great name. I thought so. What are you doing here? That would also be a good name for like a Charmander. Charlos the Charmander. Uh, do you know this little fella? This is Charlos the Charcadet. <laughs> He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Aww. Ooh, he running. Ah, Charlos, wait. He ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I'd better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Pinkmon. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Station inside that base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shedder Squad? Their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way, though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now, her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Shutter Squad off the map. All right. So really quick, I want to show you that ability on Doxbun I was talking about. It's called Well Baked Body. The Pokemon takes no damage when hit by fire type moves and instead its defense stat is sharply boosted. That's awesome. Like I feel like that'll definitely come in handy. Um, then obviously I have Pomot for dig and Charcadet also has flash fire so that could be useful. He's kind of like a backup in case things get dire. Florigato is gonna sit this one out unless things get super dire but I don't know. I, f I feel like we'll be fine with my doggos. But yeah, let's do this thing. Still not 100% sure if it's the same uh, first three Pokemon. Okay, seems the same. Maybe the only difference will be like the time limit might be shorter or like the amount of Pokemon we have to defeat might be more. Some kid lucked out beating one of our sister squads and now she thinks she can take us on. Time to give her the boot, gang. Let's show this gate crasher what Team Star can do. If you're listening, Gatecrasher, know this. Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. Wasn't it 30 last time? So is it exactly the same? Maybe the Pokemon are just like tougher or something? Defeat 30 of Team Star's Pokemon. Okay, let's do this thing. Is that Charlos or is that one of their Charcadets? I guess it's one of theirs. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even really know what I'm doing. In these star barrages, I'm just kind of randomly hitting R, like mashing R. Probably supposed to actually aim at the Pokemon, because I feel like sometimes my Pokemon just start randomly running <laughs> in like the wrong direction because I didn't really aim when I hit R. There's actually a lot of fire dogs, I feel like. Houndour, Growlithe. Okay, maybe there's only two. Am I missing any? <laughs> um. But it looks like we're having a lot of dog fights in here, which is kind of sad. <laughs> okay, we're a third of the way done. Some Torkoals over here. I wonder if this will get harder as we go on to like the the later bosses. There's only three more after this one. So I don't know how much harder it could get unless they just give us a short time limit. Uh, oh no, Dogspun actually fainted. Poor baby. That's okay because they get healed before the boss fight. I think um, these two should be enough to get 11 more done. Let's go. 
Okay, just sent Pawmot running aimlessly <laughs> because there's no Pokemon there. Let's grab Beast Houndour. Again, sent my Pokemon running aimlessly in the wrong direction, but that's fine. <laughs> Look at her. She's uh, Mastiff was just standing over there like, uh, what? <laughs> my dog's better. Again, Pawmot running in the in the most random direction. I gotta aim. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter because this is pretty easy. Are those Growlithe actually attacking me? I feel like they are. Ah! <laughs> okay, just two more to go. One more to go. Charlos? Is that you? Guess not. And we're done. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. Here she comes! Oh, she has the same weird car Pokemon thingy. Maybe the only difference is like the type changes based on the the boss. Look how cool she is! And she's so pretty! Love her little freckles and her makeup. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you'd do something so stupid and I don't care. You challenge us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. <laughs> oh my god. Intense intro music. Her boots are so freaking cool. What does she got? Torkoal. I wonder how many Pokemon she has. She has... Uh, right here, right now, you're going down. Uh, oh, she only has two, so that's good. I guess bite would be the best option here. Oh, look at Mastiff's face. Uh, yeah, hopefully it'll flinch or something. It didn't. Okay, I, I feel like we're kind of evenly matched, so it should be fine. That was for the rest of the Shedder Squad. If it flinches at least- Ooh, nice critical hit, Mastiff. If it flinches at least once, I think we'll be good. Because we're like very evenly matched at this point. And then obviously after Torkoal, we just have to fight that car. <laughs> Come on, Mastiff. Probably one more hit. Oh yay, it flinched. One more bite and we should be done. Yes. I want Mastiff to evolve. I wonder when she evolves. All right, Revavroom, the car. Ch I ain't burned to a crisp just yet. Okay, it's a level 26 car. Uh, I feel like that thing's gonna be faster than Mastiff. Payback's actually really good on Mastiff because she is so slow. So let's risk it and try a payback. Hopefully she can withstand a hit. Overheat. Ah, okay, good job, buddy. I guess it was a good call because Payback's gonna do like 100 damage now, which isn't even that much, but I think I'm gonna switch. <laughs> I just don't want Mastiff to faint. Let's use Doc's Bun because she'll be, he'll be able to withstand any of the fire attacks this thing uses and we'll get just defense boosts. It'd be cool if it didn't have- yeah, Blazing Torque. Woo! Thank you for raising our defense. I wonder if it has any non-fire type moves because then we'll have to actually worry a little bit. Uh, I feel like Thunderfang's gonna do the best here. I wonder if that thing can get paralyzed. I feel like it can't. I'm gonna Terrasilize though. Um, just to make it a little easier. Yes! Look at my Sailor Moon bread dog. <laughs> I love the crystal for the fairy type um, Terrasilizing. Okay, Thunderbang, 
eh, it doesn't do that much. This might be a slow and steady kind of uh, battle here. Honestly, I, I feel like Thunderfang is our best bet though. Maybe it could flinch with Bite, but I, I don't know if that car can even flinch. I don't know if it can get paralyzed, like I don't know. I haven't seen, at least in the last boss fight, I don't think that car got any status conditions or anything like that, so I'm not sure. I'm just gonna keep Thunderfanging. Hasn't even done any damage. Oh shoot, right when I say that it swifts. And it was a critical hit. <laughs> but I still think Dogspawn can do it. Let's go. Now it's like it realized it can't use fire type moves on me. <laughs> now it's just swifting over and over. Honestly, who cares about your speed boost? You're already faster, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, Swift is really not doing much to us, so maybe this bread dog is heftier than it looks. Still don't know if I'm pronouncing its name right. Dogspun? How else would it be pronounced though? Dogspun? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Okay, maybe like three, four more hits. Ah, another critical hit. Okay, ah, I think we're gonna have to do three more hits. Maybe. Hang in there, buddy. Wonder when my other Pokemon are gonna evolve. I feel like Mashif should be close to evolving. I could have sworn it evolves in the 20s, though. It's starting on 28. It must evolve at 29 then? Unless I, I'm remembering that wrong. I did look it up a while ago. <laughs> yes, our last hit. Let's go. Yay. And we didn't have anyone faint. <laughs> That's exciting. That car has a tongue. I just noticed that. Look at him celebrating. Ugh, is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. Another Team Star flashback? About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. The way she walks is so cute. I managed to get a bunch of Charcadet to evolve. That ought to be enough power to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mella. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. Aww. <laughs> she just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on. Not you too, Ari. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss, what prey is their plan? They always use gender neutral pronouns for the big boss so that we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> I still think it's Cassiopeia. Don't spoil it for me. If you know, they already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. I burned through everything I had and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That mastiff of yours really let us have it. Beating me in battle is a huge deal, so here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. <laughs> While I'm at it, you can have this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Flame charge, nice. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your mastiff. <laughs> the way she walks. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. You 
You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? <laughs> He's Clive. Don't you know? A regular academy student. Just like you. <laughs> a Charcadet. Wait. Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? Aww, he missed her, Charlos. To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would ya? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first time hearing of it. Huh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. I kind of feel bad for Team Star now. <laughs> like, they were just bullied and they just wanted to fight against their bullies. Pinkmon, it's me. I take it that Mellow Star Badge is now in your possession? I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shutter Squad shouldn't last long. Mella, you're the big boss! I know you are! <laughs> she has to be. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Is it me, or does this silhouette look like Penny? I don't, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it for me, but it looks like Penny to me. Okay, we can make more TMs. Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have my supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials too. H Hello, it's me again from the supply unit. Right on, what you doing? Wow, what the heck? <laughs> Aw, hey, stop that! It's licking her face. S somebody help! <laughs> Blech, it drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? It's really awesome. Er, uh, I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Ah, um, but before I forget, here's your reward. Got some Pokemon materials. Um, your name's Pinkmon, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're not all that. They are pretty strong, but I'm gonna play it cool. <laughs> Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. That is so sad. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. Aww. But uh, that's just the info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. Sure, you're not the boss. You're really not the boss? <laughs> I don't know, man. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. Hmm, I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. Same girl. <laughs> so, um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. 
Okay, you guys, I'm gonna wrap this part up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and follow me on all my social media. In the next part, I think we're gonna switch it up by taking on the next Titan. But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!